Good afternoon, everybody. Myself, I am Dr. Shankar Reddy. I am working as a consultant laparoscopic and general surgeon at German Day Hospital. Uh, I have an experience of about 16 years in this field, and I am looking after the common surgical elements which are requiring surgical procedures, both minor as well as major. Uh, most common conditions would be hernia, gallbladder diseases like gallstones, appendicitis, and uh, other common uh, surgical procedures such as abscess, incision, drainage, etc. Hi, sir. How are you? Yeah, I am fine. So I want to ask you questions of general surgery. Can yeah. I? Yeah, please go ahead. So what is gallstone? Uh, gallstones, uh, as I said, uh, it is uh, formation of stones within the gallbladder. And this gallbladder is an organ which uh, has the function of concentration of the bile and then releasing it whenever we take food. So what is the treatment of gallstone? Uh, the treatment depends on mainly whether the patient has any pain or any problem because of the stones or not. Asymptomatic stones can be safely followed up with a every six monthly scan to see whether the size of the stone is increasing or not or any, any other complications are developing or not. For um, patients which have a pain or a problem or patients with diabetes and all, they will require surgery. And for them, we offer a laparoscopic gallbladder surgery or laparoscopic cholecystic surgery. So, what are the treatment of appendicitis? Yeah, appendix uh, appendicitis uh, means it is a swelling of the appendix, and this swelling, if it is not controlled within time, it can increase and uh, lead to rupture of the organ, leading to several other complications, uh, which require immediate surgery. So, the treatment options for appendicitis initially we start with antibiotics. And if the patient is not responding, then we go for, uh, ahead with the surgery, uh, which is either done in an open method or a laparoscopic method. And this surgery will have to be usually done within first 24 hours of the admission. Okay, sir. What is hernia? Uh, hernia, the term means there is a protrusion or a swelling of the uh, intestinal contents or abdominal contents from the wall of the abdomen. <coughs> This is mainly found because of weakness or uh, lose, uh, because of the overage, the um, uh, muscles become weak or because of obesity, the muscles become weak. So there is a swelling uh, in the umbilicus or around the umbilicus or in the groin regions. So can you, can you please say the treatment of hernia? Yeah, hernia can be treated in different ways. One is open methods or uh, laparoscopic methods. I would prefer laparoscopic methods as the recovery will be faster and much uh, recurrence rates are also much lesser in case of laparoscopic repair. So can you please say me about COVID? What is the second wave and the third wave updates? Yeah, COVID already we, we crossed the first wave, then we also faced the second wave. Now the cases are uh, reportedly to be declining slowly, but uh, still there is a thread of uh, third wave. This wave form is happening mainly because uh, when we don't follow our precautions, and when we mix up with more and more people, the virus gets more and more newer people who are not exposed to it or not vaccinated, and then the numbers suddenly raise. This leads to the third wave, or any fourth wave, whatever. So what happened if we miss second dose of COVID vaccination? Yeah, if you the, uh, miss the second dose as per schedule, you'll have to again repeat the entire vaccination schedule, and you have to take both first as well as second after a gap of about one month. What is the need of second dose, sir? Yeah, well, in the first dose exposes your body to the antigen and now your body makes the antibodies to fight against the uh, virus. But once after four to six weeks, these antibodies slowly come down in numbers. So in order to boost your immunity, the second dose uh, has the main function of booster dose. Once the second dose is also given, then the permanent antibodies are formed against the virus and stay in your blood for much longer time. Okay, sir. What is the fever of vaccination, sir? Uh, fever after vaccination is very mild and uh, it usually subsides with paracetamol or a crocin tablet which you can take for a day or two. Thank you so much, sir. Sorry.